by symbols which suggest their actual shape from above. They are placed on the map in proper relationship to their surroundings. A storage tank is frequently marked on military maps. The symbol representing it is a solid black circle. Contents of such tanks are always indicated adjacent to the symbols. Finally, remember that whenever man-made features, such as airports, are large enough, they are represented on maps in their proper scale. The symbols we have seen thus far represent man-made features which physically occupy space within a mapped area. But there is another man-made feature which normally is not physically apparent, yet must be depicted on the military map. This is the boundary line. The symbols representing boundary lines are varied to distinguish the areas which they enclose. A national boundary is depicted in this way. This is a state border, and this a county line. Military reservations are outlined by this symbol, and other reservations like this. You will notice that the national and state boundaries are at first glance confusingly similar. Thus, to distinguish it, the national boundary is edged with red dots along its entire length. The same possibility of confusion exists between military and other reservation borders. So the boundary symbol for the military reservation is also edged with small red dots. And a printed identification is included on the reservation side of the line. These then are representative samples of the symbols used to identify cultural or man-made features on the military map. Let us now consider how natural features are depicted. The color blue on a map indicates water. Thus, large bodies of water, such as rivers and bays, are drawn on the map to scale and colored blue. Their shorelines, whether rocky, smooth, sandy, swampy, or overgrown with vegetation, are always indicated by a blue line. Streams which are not wide enough to be drawn to the map scale, whether fast and deep or slow and shallow, are symbolized on the military map by a blue line. If the stream is constant, the blue line is solid. If it is intermittent, flowing only during wet weather, a broken line is used. Swamps or marshes, no matter where located within the mapped area, are indicated by blue symbols resembling vegetation growing in water, while lakes or ponds are drawn on the map in blue to reproduce their aerial outline insofar as possible. From these examples, it can be seen that the map symbols for water features are easily interpreted and readily identifiable because of their blue coloration. Another natural element of great importance to the soldier is vegetation. This is indicated on the military map in green. Areas which are covered with natural woods or brushwood, from thick forests to scrub brush, are shown by a solid shading of light green while white indicates areas which have been cleared. Orchards are symbolized on military maps by a green pattern like this, suggesting rows of trees with their normal coloration. This then is the meaning of green on your map, vegetation. As we noted earlier, a topographic map 
contains information about the relief features of the area it depicts. This is expressed in brown contour lines, which represent the relative height of the terrain over which they pass, and spot elevations, which give the elevations at the point where they are found. Note that they are used here to indicate a depression as a closed loop with tick marks always on the downhill side. Contour lines will also depict a cut through hills or ridges dug to accommodate man-made features like roads or railroads. Note the straight and parallel contour lines adjacent to this road and passing through the hill. This symbolizes a cut. When an area has been filled to allow a man-made feature to pass over small streams, gullies, or depressions, the fill is indicated by straight and parallel contour lines adjacent to the road or railroad and running over the features filled in. When tick marks are used to indicate the downside of the fill, they always point away from the road or railroad. The interpretation of contour lines will be explained more fully in another film. This completes our survey of the more common map symbols found on military maps. The complete map will have names of features such as towns, highways and railroads printed on it to further aid in identifying the symbols it contains. It will also carry a military grid of numbered horizontal and vertical lines to provide a uniform means of locating points on the map. The manner in which the grid is used will also be covered in another film. Finally, of course, a map always has its legend. Remember, it is there to illustrate and identify the symbols used. So before undertaking to read a map, first read its legend for proper guidance. This, then, is the military map. Like other maps, it is a drawing to scale of a portion of the Earth's surface on which natural and man-made features are depicted by symbols, lines, and colors. The marginal information of this map is essential to its proper understanding and use, while its legend is the key to the symbols it contains. Of these symbols, those printed in black denote what is called cultural detail or man-made objects, such as roads of various types and classifications. Railroads, buildings, including schools and churches, storage tanks, and other man-made features large enough to be represented on the map in their proper scale. Boundaries are also printed in black with those representing national borders or the limits of military reservations being edged with small red dots. All water features are indicated in blue, including bays and rivers, shorelines, streams and lakes or ponds. Vegetation is depicted by the color green. White shows areas which have been cleared. Finally, facts pertaining to relief features of the area are expressed on the map by brown contour lines and spot elevations. The military map contains a wealth of vital information for the soldier to use. Its value will depend on you and your knowledge of its elements. With a little effort and practice, you can master its symbols and usage. And once mastered, you can count on the military map to guide you on your missions in training or in combat, surely, swiftly, and safely.